going on everybody welcome to another video if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who i am my name is jeremy and welcome to jeremy's wild world so guys this is all from today's title today's video is going to be a double mantis unboxing now before i continue on i just want to quickly say if the audio for me sounds a little bit nasally today i am feeling a little bit under the weather so please excuse that and i hope the audio isn't too bad but yeah so today's video is going to be an unboxing i'm doing from mantis den as well as unseen universe now it was my birthday the other week and I did decide to go out and buy some new Mantis for me, just to, you know, a little bit of a spoil myself. And yeah, so I'm going to be doing the unboxing today and rehousing them in today's video for both of the Mantis that I got. So if you want to see what they are, please stick around to the end of the video. And yeah, so before I continue on, I just want to quickly say, according to my YouTube statistics, a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoy today's content and you want to see more, click the subscribe button for the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. So guys, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing Mantis, shall we? So guys, getting into the unboxing part of today's video, as you can see, I do have the two boxes here. The top one is from Mantis Den, and as you can see, the bigger one on the bottom is from Unseen Universe. Now, the reason why I got the bigger box is because I did only order a Mantis, a single one from Mantis Den, and I did order one Mantis from Unseen Universe 2, but I also ordered some more Deli Cups. But guys, I'm not sponsored by them, but if you feel like checking them out, they do have some really good variety of inverts and uh, closures and stuff like that. Mantis Den especially have some really nice acrylic enclosures that they have for sale at the moment. So feel free to check them out. I'll be leaving the links to their websites down in the description below. But yeah, so let's start off with the bigger box, shall we, from Unseen Universe. Now there is their logo. Um, it's actually the first time I have ordered from both of these companies. Have been looking to order them from them for a while now, but now I've found the opportunity to do so. Now I did, of course, only order one Mantis from each company, but yeah, I would have gotten some more. But I do, you know, I don't want to like go all out at the moment. I want to take my time with Mantis and don't want to get every single Mantis I want in one go. There we go. So getting into the box guys as you see packs really really nice with some packing peanuts which is always great because it does protect the inverts inside so here is their business card their iconic logo there is their information i will be leaving the link to the website down below but do feel free to check them out on youtube facebook twitter and instagram as well and yeah so if you want to contact them for any advice for any mantis that you're going to be purchasing from them here is um their email sorry and yeah Go check them out, Unseen Universe. So getting into the box, guys, just having a look. Ooh. Okay, so I think that's how he's packed it. So he's packed the cups. I'm going to make a mess, aren't I? So he's packed the box with everything, and he's put the mantis inside of the deli cups. So I did get five deli cups because he does sell them for fairly cheap at one pound each. I've seen other places sell them for one pound fifty, which is not too much of a difference, but, you know, might as well save some money where I can and they did have a really cool mantis species I wanted to get from him and these are my favorite cups because they do have the mesh lids so the mantis can cling onto them I will be also using some of these to start culturing fruit flies as well and yeah so let's get into what mantis I got from Unseen Universe oh if I can get the cup out there we go so yeah 32 ounce deli cups really recommend these for mantis nymphs and yeah so here's the mantis gonna chuck the packing peanuts to the side for now oh, can't wait this is going to be a really awesome species guys so pack wrapped in green uh bubble wrap which is quite cool i've never seen green bubble wrap before Ooh, here we go we're so going into it guys oh. where is it where is it oh look how tiny Oh my god, guys, check it out. Well, we can't really see it that well at the moment. It's not in the best position right now. But here it is. Not too sure how well you'll be able to see that. But this is the Peruvian ant mantis. Now, they are an ant mimic species, like most mantids are when they're nymphs. But they are such an awesome species. I just had to pick one up. Like, I couldn't resist. They're such an awesome species. And I'll be also leaving the scientific name down in the bottom left corner. If you guys are interested in that at all. But yeah, this has been packed really, really nice with some fruit flies. And I'll oh, check it out. Not the clearest in the world, but obviously when I'm rehousing it, you'll be able to see a better look. And yeah, so that's pretty much the unboxing part for Unseen Universe. 
Let's move on to the Mantis Den, shall we? Now to get into the unboxing for Mantis Den. As you can see, I do have such a tiny little box because I did only order a single Mantis from them. But this Mantis is quite special. Um, it is a really cool Mantis. It was a little bit pricey as well, but I have not seen many um, YouTubers keep this species yet. So it would be quite cool to document it on my channel. And yeah, so let's get into the box. Opening up here. As you can see, oh, that kind of sucks. I did kind of cut into the business card, but as you can see, this is the Mantis Den's brand new business card. They do look really, really nice. And yeah, so nothing on the back, but I will be, of course, leaving the link to Mantis Den down in the description below. And here is their other information, their Facebook and their Instagram, as well as their email if you want to contact them as well. But yeah, I highly recommend checking them out. Mantis Den. Just getting into the unboxing, guys, as you can see this package with some paper okay so it looks like it's wrapped up in here Ooh. where's where's it there it is oh. oh my god guys check it out oh my god this is gorgeous so guys here is common name being the moss mantis um, I'll also, of course, be leaving the scientific name down in the lower left corner as well. But such a cool species, guys. Check it out. I can't really show it that well in the uh, deli cups because the deli cups don't... The uh, shipping container. Sorry. Oh, but here we go. Here's the scientific name. Pseudo, Pseudo acanthops species. The moss mantis. Super cool species of mantis. And... I'm glad I have one in my collection because they are awesome, especially when they're older. They look amazing, guys. Oh, super happy with this. This actually cost a pretty penny. This was actually 18 pounds, which is fair enough because they're not a common species here. Like, I haven't really seen them available anywhere, but oh, super, super cool. I can't wait to rehouse them. I'm not too sure what I'm going to be housing the Ant Mantis in. Um, it is quite small, so I might be doing a little bit of a swap around for... My ghost mantis enclosure maybe i'll keep it in there and then put the ghost mantis into one of the deli cups like here but yeah so that's the unboxing part guys let's get into rehousing these little mantis to start off the rehousings today guys i'm going to be first off rehousing the peruvian ant mantis as you can see it is a dizzy little thing so i am going to be housing it in the old ghost enclosure and don't worry uh, the ghost mantis is now in one of the 32 ounce cups and of course the enclosure that I used to go in was this one here and if you recognize this this used to house temporarily shiro my orchid mantis so it has a nice moist substrate leaf litter for naturalistic looks uh sphagnumos to keep up humidity and of course uh, i did cut the top put some mesh on the top so the mantis can hang upside down to molt if it chooses to hang from the top of the lid but yeah so the rehousing of this mantis hopefully should be pretty simple i'm simply just going to be opening up the enclosure like so and placing it within but i do want to get you guys a better look before it goes into the enclosure so just flipping it upside down like this but wow check it out guys let me just zoom in here for you like come on like this is the definition of an ant mimic like look at that this does not to me look like a mantis at all this if i had to glance over just quickly i would assume this would be a ant like literally <laughs> it is in a the name they do look just like ants when they're nymphs and it's super super cool like you couldn't distinguish that with a large size ant would you like check it out it's super super cool but anyways guys just to avoid it getting stressed out too much i'm going to be allowing it to go into the enclosure hopefully it will go in and there we go it's now in the enclosure it will be able to wander around however it pleases and yeah so that's rehousing of the peruvian ant mantis let's get on to rehousing the moss mantis now last but not least whatsoever is going to be the rehousing of my moss mantis now, i am super super excited to show you guys how this will grow up with me and the enclosure I set up, I personally think looks really, really nice. 32 ounce deli cup with some sticks I collected from the garden. Some leaf litter, of course, for aesthetic looks. And some moss in the back. Of course, why would you not have moss for a moss mantis, am I right? But I think this enclosure looks super, super good. And this is what it's going to be living in. And yeah, so 
opening up the lid, let's get this little one inside. But before I do that, I want to get you guys a better look at the Moss Mantis. So this is a super, super gorgeous species and it definitely caught my eye when I was having a look on the Mantis Den website. And check it out guys. Let me just zoom in right here. As you can see guys, absolutely gorgeous. You can see how the abdomen mimics lichen and the camouflage on this little thing is just amazing. Like check that out. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous mantis species. I wonder if I have a male or female. It would be quite cool if I can get some females of these so I can have them for a little bit longer. But yeah, possibly a future breeding project. Who knows? But yeah, so let's get it rehoused. So get it the, the enclosure right here. Oh, it's making a run for it. I'll just put it near the stick and hopefully it'll just climb on. Perfect. Oh. Oh, no, 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 come on, back in you go, come on, onto the lid, one last look for you guys, right here, gorgeous mantis, and look how they wiggle around, so it looks like moss blowing in the wind, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous species, I'm not regretting buying this mantis at all, was by far the most expensive mantis I've bought so far, but I definitely do not regret it whatsoever so guys that's the end of today's video let's get into the outro shall we so guys that's in today's video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the unboxing today of both my moss mantis as well as my peruvian ant mantis and again if you guys want to check out mantis den and unseen universe i'll be leaving the links to their website down in the description below go check them out for all your mantid needs so guys that's in today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did i'd really appreciate you guys would click the subscribe button as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content I would also really, really appreciate if you guys would follow me on Instagram, Jeremy's Wild World. I will leave the link down in the description below. I post videos and pictures of the animals and inverts I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. So guys, that's all for me today. Leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.